All right, so in this video, we want to talk about aliases or custom types. So far, we've been using the built-in types in JavaScript, like number, string, boolean, or date, or undefined, and so on. But with TypeScript, we can define custom types or aliases. So let's start with simple examples. So first, to define a custom type or an alias, we have a type keyword. So similar to let and const in JavaScript to define a variable, we use type keyword to define an alias or a custom type in TypeScript. And let's call this published year. And I want to set the type of this to number. You notice here, we are not setting the type using a colon, but we are using the assignment operator. We are saying this type that we are calling it publish year is number. So now we have a custom type and we can use it anywhere. So let's say I have a variable and I'm going to call it X and the type of this X should be a published year, which technically is a number. And if you hover over X, we can see it is set to number. So I can't have a string here. I cannot have a Boolean, even a new date from JavaScript constructor. So that's not going to work either. We can only have numbers for this variable, which is set to our custom type. So I'm going to delete this, but I'm going to keep that type up there. But let's create a new type, which I'm going to call post. So this is like a model in PHP or a class in JavaScript. And we are trying to define a pattern for this type post that we are calling it post. So I will set this to an object. And let's say I want to have an ID of type number. I want to have a title of type string and a property year. And for the type of this, I want to use my custom type up here. So I can set this to published year. So now we have this custom type that is kind of using this other custom type within it. And we want to create a variable using these custom types. So I want to have a new post variable. And the type of this new post is this post alias or custom type up here. So when I hover on this post, you notice it is giving me the pattern. So we need an ID, a title, and a year that needs to be of type published year. Let's add curly brackets. We need an ID. Let's set it to one. We need a title. Let's set it to post one and a year property. Let's just say 2020. We could also change this around a bit to make it more useful. For example, this published year must be a date. So I can just pass date here as a type. And now you notice this year is giving me an error because it's not looking for a number, but a date. So I can pass a new date constructor here. And this is not giving me an error. So I think this would be a better example. Now this custom post type that we declared here is just like an object that we discussed in the previous video. That means if I forget one of these properties, let's say this ID, I will get an error. If I add more properties, then it is expected. Let's say I have an author here. You can see again, it's giving me an error because this type is not allowing anything other than these properties. But just like objects, we can have optional properties. Let's say author and the type of this should be a string. So now because this is optional, we don't have an error down here, even though we are not providing that author property. But if you wanted to, we could of course do that just like this. So this is how you can create aliases or custom types in TypeScript and use them in your code if you want to have a specific type that JavaScript doesn't provide. Now in the next video, we will talk about interfaces, which is very similar to these aliases.